Bill. Our Capitol coverage begins in our own backyard this morning. State Superintendent Ryan Walters paid a visit to Green Country this week to host a roundtable discussion on education. They went over legislation, teacher pay, testing, and other big topics. And we uh, talked about one of these as well, religion and school funding. And uh, we got a chance to talk to him about that. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee sharing how Walters feels about a recent decision by Oklahoma's Attorney General. Amanda. Good morning, Corey. Justin, school funding has been a major topic at the Capitol for years, and it's heating up this session, especially now after State Attorney General Getner Drummond withdrew an opinion issued by his predecessor, John O'Connor. That opinion said public dollars could be used to operate religious charter schools. Drummond issued that reversal last week, saying it misuses the concept of religious liberty by employing it as a means to justify state-funded religion. When we asked what he thought about what Walters thought about the AG's reversal, he told us he disagrees with that fellow Republican. Well, I believe that we've got to provide more choice options for our students, for our young people in the state of Oklahoma, and that includes religious options. If somebody wants to go to a religious school, that, that should absolutely be made available to them. That's what school choice looks like. Comes as a Catholic virtual charter school applied to the statewide virtual charter school board earlier this month. Now, school choice and another hot topic this session. It, it bill passed the House committee just last week. That would provide $5,000 tax credit per student for parents who send their children to private schools. Now, stay with us as we continue to follow the Capitol this session. Amanda Slee, 2 News Oklahoma. All right, Amanda, thank you very much.